Hi everyone and welcome to this new tutorial. I'm Arian and today we are going to see how to create a PDF generator in WordPress with Elementor, Elementor Pro and Dynamico. All the links are in the description of this video. First of all, we need to add a form. Drag and drop it here. Then I'm going to click the main section here. Height, fit to screen. Then I'm going to click on the form like this and I'm going to add a new item. Click on new item and then type select label services and here I will add my services. Great! Then I can go on advanced and change the ID. Services. Cool! Now I can move this on the top and you know before messages like that, lovely. Now I'm going to click on action after submit. And here I will remove the default action and I will add an action called PDF generator and another one called dynamic email. Here is it. Great, now I need to click on PDF generator and then, as you can see, you have two options, DOM PDF. Uh, this will allow you to use uh, Elementor Page Builder to create your PDF, but in our case, we are going to use the SVG. So with SVG selected, let's go here. And as you can see, the name is the date of the file, the folder. Here you can um, specify like where you want your PDF to be stored. Uh, and of course the name and everything and then you have PDF pages and here we are going to add our code and before clicking on add, uh, add item sorry we are going to create a SVG PDF by clicking on uh, SVG editor dynamic 000 so this link you will find it in the description of this video you can click on it and you will get to this page First of all, check the canvas size. I set my canvas like this to get a A4 format. Great. So first of all, I'm going to click on file, import image, and I'm going to add my logo. Drag and drop it where you want. You can also zoom uh, in by clicking Alt and you know the mouse wheel like that. And then I'm going to click on this square shaper. I can add some shapes like this and you can also change the colors here on the left side so you can style it as you want and align where you want. Great! Once you have made your template, we need to change all those tokens. Those are the information that will be uh, added on the form in our WordPress website. To get those IDs, we just need to go on Elementor, back on our page, and then on Form Fields, we need to click on this and check the IDs. So click on Name, Advanced, and as you can see, the ID of the name field its name. So they are pretty easy, email, it's email, and services, advanced ID services. So, you know, uh, those are the IDs, uh, make it same as the label so that it's easier for you. Great, once you made this, view, source. We can copy the source. Go back on Elementor and now on PDF generator we can click on it and now we can click add item and here on SVG page code we can paste our code. Nice. Now we can close this and get to dynamic email. Now we can add an item here. Enable email be sure is yes condition leave it uh, blank and then subject we can change this to new invoice 
new invoice from and here we can add some short code so that uh, our subject will be populated automatically by the content that we add here so let's go on form fields click on name and this time in advanced we are going to take the short code copy the short code let's go down dynamic email let's click again on here and now instead of my wordpress i will add the short code cool now on to of course you can add your own email and we can also add the email of the user that is adding his email right here so to do that go back on form fields email advance let's copy the short code again and then back to dynamic email reopen this and of course i'm going to click on here and just add a comma and then paste the short code then from email we can change this and add the short code email so will be from the email that people will add here and when you reply to always from the same email from name we can actually get this short code again like this and then here on the message we are going to keep all field so all field will be added to the message but i also want my pdf to be attached to this mail so i'm going to add square brackets and form pdf like this great once you've done that just click on update nice now I can get and check the page. Cool. Add my name. My email will be like this one, for example. Let's say I'm a client and I'm adding this one. Service, I can choose web design and message. Let's say send. Great, the form was sent. And now I'm going to check my email. This is my email and as you can see, I have a new invoice from Arian. If I click on it, I will get all the information and then I can also click on the PDF. And as you can see, I have my PDF here with my cat looking at us. <laughs> and yeah, so you can print, download and everything. So cool, this works and I will also show you how it looks like on Gmail. So on Gmail, this looks like this. As you can see, there is all the information and the PDF that I can download add to my drive. So I can click on it and check the PDF. As you can see, everything is set up and working fine. Click on the like button if it was useful. And of course, subscribe to the channel to see more videos and notification bell to be always up to date. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Bye.